Hello everybody, this video is on basic logarithm use. We're going to talk about how to do change of base rule. By now, you probably are familiar with things that deal with the exponential function and exponential function word problems. I'm going to start off with a word problem that is similar to something that you've already seen before. There are five penguins at the biodome. Their population doubles every year. How many years until the population reaches 320 penguins? So if we go about this question, probably like you've done in all your other questions, we know that for a exponential function, the rule is usually y equals a c to the x. And you should know by now that a is your uh, starting value, so we'll just call it the start. c is usually your change, and x is your time. Okay, so here, what are we given? Well, we are given how many we had at the start, and we are given the change. So all we're going to do is we're going to change the letters into numbers. And we're going to be left with y is equal to, well, a, my start is 5, my change is doubles, so 2, and then to the x. So that is my exponential function rule. Okay, now I know that the population reaches 320 penguins at a certain time, but I need to know what the time is. So this 320 is going to equal to my y. So I'm going to do 320 is equal to 5 times 2 to the x. And if I simplify further, I'm going to get 2, well if I divide both sides by 5, I'm going to get 64 is equal to 2 to the x. And that's where this question comes in. How do you solve for x when x is the exponent? And I've heard a lot of things like, well, why can't you just do the square root um, of you know, both sides? Well, you don't know what x is. You don't know that x is 2. So you can't do that. In the past, when I was teaching this course, um, the, the way to do it was to do it by trial and error. So you would take your calculator and you would say, okay, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 5, and so on, until you got um, the answer on this side. Well, that gets a little bit long and tedious um, with certain questions. So I'm going to teach you how to do locks. So I'm just going to move this up here, and I'm going to erase that arrow. Okay. So how do you solve for x when x is the exponent? And that's where logs come in, okay? So logs is what you want to use. And basically, if you it's on your calculator, so I would show it to you in class, or you should just check it out now. You have a button that says log, okay? Now, this is how you isolate x. You take this side here with no x, and you put a log in front of it. Then you take the other side with the x, and you put a log in front of it. And you simply divide. x is equal to the log of 64 over the log of 2. And you plug this into your calculator, and in the end, you'll get the answer. So if I were to use my calculator, and if I pause for a second here and I grab it, if I do the log of 64 on my calculator, so log of 64 um, divided by the log of 2, I get that the answer is 6. Now, how do you check your work? How do you check your work with this? Well, if I'm telling you that x is equal to 6, that means that if I were to do 2 to the power of 6, what do you think it's going to be equal to? What do you think it needs to be equal to? It needs to be equal to 64. So again, if you want, you can do it in your heads and do 2 times 2 times 2 6 times. Or you can just plug it into your y to the x in the calculator, and you'll find that 2 to the power of 6, yes, is in fact 64. And my answer is um, correct. Okay, so uh, let's do another one. And instead of giving you a word problem, I'm just going to give you um, a, uh, a random exponential function. Uh, I've simplified it. I'm down to this far. 3 to the x is equal to uh, 19,683. So again, 
pretending as though my population is 19,683, and then I need to know, okay, well, on how many years will it be this much? Um, at this point in time, no, you cannot cube root it, okay? The x is not necessarily a cube root. So instead, I'm going to use logs. So from what I showed you, x is equal to, you take the log of the number that's standing alone, so 19,683, over the log of the number that's attached to the x, which is 3. And done properly, you will find that x here is equal to 9. And if you check your work, if you do 3 to the power of x, or 3 to the power of 9, you will get this much. So, just to recap, we just learned about logarithms, and we learned how to solve for x when x is actually the exponent in these questions. So whenever you see that x is the exponent, you do logs, okay? So remember, in general, the rule will be if I have, um, say, some uh, c to the power of x um, is equal to y, to solve for x, you're going to do log of y over the log of c, and that will give you your x. So this is the general rule.